I got a juice, 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 juice. What's up, what's up, y'all? You are watching Still Got the Juice TV. I am Kendra, K E N dot D R A. And look who dropped in on us today. It is Spazzy. Spazzy, Spazzy. How are you doing today? What's up, Mr. Wild? <laughs> so you had a busy year, and we just got to talk about it. We got a lot of get to, so we want to jump right into it. Mm -hmm. But first, put us on to your two aliases. So mm -hmm. we have Spaz B and we mm -hmm. have VZ Bands. Mm -hmm, How did mm -hmm. you get those two? Well, like the Spaz B part, um, they used to call me, there's a few reasons, but the Spaz B is, uh, they used to call me V. And then, like, as I started rapping, you know, taking my, like, career series and stuff like that, I was in a booth one day, and I was just, you know, freestyling. I was just spazzing him. I'm like, yo, nah, I ain't gonna lie, Spaz I It was just, that just, the VZ Bands part, I wanted to, like, separate myself because, like, I wanted to, like, like be a different brand than uh, Spaz V because the Spaz V was, like, uh, I don't know, for some reason, we were just, like, People were taking it like extra aggressive. So I wanted to like stand out from that and um, be more about business. I wanted to like be something that was, people here and they won't be so like intimidated or like scared to work with or scared to be like, why do you like? So I wanted to stand out a little bit more, establish a brand a little better. Copy that. Mm -hmm. So Spaz V for the streets mm -hmm. and VZ Bands. Bands for the business. Exactly. <laughs> it's for the millions, for the mm -hmm. millions. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. So give us one word that would describe your sound. Jiggy. Um, basically, I'm trying to unite like uh, New York, Cali, and Detroit. Other genres too, but those are my main top three right now that I'm kind of trying to collaborate all those sounds in one. So, came up with the Jiggy genre. Like, you know, that's what we're doing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Definitely. Get lighter, my get people that like to dance. This is violent too, but like at the same time, you don't hear the violence. It's more like you, you hear it. Is you get a dance, you want to dance. So that's the tone I want to set rather than you know, the aggression. Copy mm -hmm. that. We, I definitely agree. Your sound is very jiggy. Mm -hmm. And I read that, that you wanted to connect the cities, mm -hmm. Detroit, NYC, mm -hmm. and LA. And I hear that in the beat selection that you mm -hmm. choose for mm -hmm. your songs, Don't Care and How to Step. Mm -hmm. So tell me when you're going through uh, your beat selections, mm -hmm. how what, what influences your decisions. I ain't gonna lie, I got some fire producers right now that I got, you know, on the team. And shout out to my dog Manny Beast, um and Asher McKnight. Uh McCray on my back. He uh McCray, I ain't gonna lie, he's the one that did the don't care record, the hottest step record. We got a lot of records that we put together, but it's Manny Beast to us, my dog for me. I got a good I got a good selection of producers that they know the sound I was looking for. So that's what also helped it. Like I just reached out to one of my mans. I'm like, bro, I need this beat. So it actually helps better with, especially like a lot of producers was, they was used to it, but I had to like, you know what I'm saying? Like probably look for a producer from like Detroit and stuff like that. But I want to incorporate producers from New York and Detroit. And I got two of the best right now. So that's how I was able to come up with the sound and create the magic I was able to create and stuff. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. You spoke about having the lyrics be uh, familiar on the aggression side, but mm -hmm. still having the danceability of having, you know, more happy dance relatable music. Mm -hmm. I think of it, I think about it as like your lyrics are more speaking to the honor, mm -hmm. you know, of keeping mm -hmm. the honor of a man, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. And keeping the, the self esteem, but also. Letting these men smile, yeah, have a good yeah. time, right? Like, yeah, that's that's what I want. That was a goal. Like, I wanted to like have people just ease up, you know what I'm saying? Like, and show people that it was cool to be cool. Like, as far as like, you don't gotta like name drop, you don't gotta flash money, you don't gotta like do all the things that everybody doing right now. Like, you could, you can be different, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can set the tone a different way rather than screaming and stuff like that. So that's the and besides with me, like I'm really big on music. I don't, I like to. I like to listen to music that that you know resonates with the soul. So with the music I was trying to incorporate, what I was doing is with that. Like I like R and B, I like a lot of that stuff. But I wanted to, at the same time, you know, like separate it and you know come up with the sound that I came up with and all that. So that's how I was able to do that. Right. I love it. Mm -hmm. So you also own your own record label, Hood Life Records. Mm -hmm. um, life what are life. yes? <laughs> what are three steps that you can share with those looking to build their own label? I'm not gonna lie, it's not easy at all. Like I started like um somebody asked me earlier, like when I was doing music. I started I was doing music at like sixteen, but like professionally wise I was doing it 
to 2015. And I had to like really put in a lot of work. I had to like network, I had to grind, I had to really do a lot. And then with the brand, far as like with the label, it was just like I had to up the brand. You know what I'm saying? So I came over to, because with, like with every artist, you got to break in a certain way. From you can't, back in the days, you used to like have like record labels that you couldn't put music or get distributors without being through a label. So it's more easier now because you could just start your own little thing and all that and just, it's just how you elevate it. So that's what I wanted to do with the artists I was working with and the people I was you know, dealing with and stuff like incorporate that and the team and stuff like that. So that's how I was able to come up with the HUD Life record thing. Then the HUD Life records is all about just giving back. You come with the voice of the HUD, like you feel me? So I wanted to incorporate the voice, it's what the voice is for the HUD, people that don't have a made it a platform of people that like they don't they're not like really tapped in tap in so i want to tap people in with the tap in for me and that's how that's what we're doing right now with the whole like records they doing thing all that so shout out to us shout out to the label <laughs> definitely shout mm -hmm. out shout out mm -hmm. uh so what's next for you what does 2024 q1 through q4 look like for you oh man i ain't gonna lie we got a lot of stuff in plan um maybe day six um, for the fans that seen Biggity Five, doing Biggity Six, um, I'm gonna drop some more music. I think I might give the people another record or two, or maybe like another video or two. But otherwise than that, like we got a lot of stuff that has on the way and all that. But Biggie Day Six, if you're in the building, bring your Biggie, come out, we gonna rock with us. Well, right, shout out to my dog Mickey Phelps and all that from Harlem. You know? All right. <laughs> And we can't let you go without speaking mm -hmm. on your recently released Hollaback Freestyle that mm -hmm. you dropped October 18. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tell me, what made you go with the Hollaback uh, instrumental and the beat and all that? Tell me what geared that decision. Oh, uh, man, the Hollaback Freestyle, like, I did that. Uh, a lot of the music that I got right now is, like, you know, I've been did that, like, maybe, like, like, in 2022. I actually, like, took that year to, like, record. Um, I wasn't doing any shows. I wasn't doing nothing, like, more than anything. Took that year to like record a lot of music. And um, this year I, I made a go. I said, you know what, I'm gonna just drop music. And I started with the hottest step. I did don't care. And I just wanted to get the people, I didn't want to overexpose the brand. So I wanted to get people like enough music to still want more. You know what I'm saying? So the Holla Back was a, a homage for me. I've been doing a lot of shows in Brooklyn. You feel me? Fabulous is one of my favorite artists, Fab Jada and stuff like that. You feel me? So I wanted to like kind of pay homage with that. And, um, Get that back and stuff like that in a, in a jiggy Bronx way type of vibe and all that. So that came from one of my inspirations. Being young, seeing that video, if you watch the Holla Back Younger video from Train and all that. So I always, in my head since I was young, I was like, you know what, I want to do something like that. And then I just in the studio on there, came out, came, came about it, and we just did it. And now we just put it together and stuff like that. So <laughs> that's how that came about. <laughs> Definitely. Mm -hmm. I love that record. Appreciate you. No problem. So uh, we're gonna keep your we're gonna keep our eyes on you as we go into 2024. But mm -hmm. before you leave us, mm -hmm. how do you stay sharp in your craft so that you can still have the juice? <laughs> no funny shit. I work hard. I ain't gonna lie. Like you feel me, I'm not satisfied. Like I always, even when like I'm doing what I'm doing, like it's never enough to me. Like I feel like you know what I'm saying. Like I'm always striving to be better. And always striving to evolve and to grow and just continue to elevate the brand and what we're doing. I feel like I gotta up the ante every time. So every what time mm -hmm. sorry, ahead. sorry to cut you off. But what are some like actual actions that you do to up the ante, to stay refined, to stay sharp in your craft? Um well I'm very like discreet in what I do as far as like with the stuff. So I don't try to like give too much away. But I just work. I just like you know what I'm saying? Like I grind them in the studio. I'm putting a little team together, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm trying to, like, also not only promote myself and what I'm doing, but, like, build the other artists and stuff as, as well. So it's like a unison thing for me. So, like, I'm just trying to put a whole big thing together, something that's bigger than me. And um, it's just kind of, like, taking off, you know what I'm saying? Just trusting the process, working with the journey. And, like I said, since 2015 to now, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people think, like, people get in the game, they think, like, you want to automatically see results. Like you're not gonna see automatic results. Like I've really been doing it. I've really been outside. I've been I've really been at events. Like this year we've been performing. We've been doing a lot. So I'm really outside. It just work and just grinding. Like I said, I'm never satisfied. Like even when I got as much music and records and videos, it's like to me it's, not, it's never enough. Like so, I just want to continue to build on that. 
continue to build on a catalog and a legacy and what we're doing. Like, I'm like, I got people that's looking out and people that's like looking up to me. So I just want to continue to pave that way for them. <laughs> Word. What does success look like for you? Success, man, like, it's, it's big. It's like when you, like, your family's good, when you're good, like, when your community's good, like, when your supporters is good, like, you feel me? When you're able to, like, make an impact, like, when you're able to, like, do things different and, like, at the same time, like, like I said, pay homage, like, I'm not, or I feel like anybody successful, like, they're not, like, afraid of paying homage. And it's paying homage is, like, you don't have to, like, necessarily, like, pay money or you can put people onto different opportunities or, you know, like, but success is just, the biggest of the biggest is life. It's just elevated, like just growing and just, you know what I'm saying? Like just, you know, like doing what you do. Like God give you opportunity to do what you do. You gotta do that, use that right. So that's the, that's the perfect way I think is successful and all that. Making sure everybody around you is good. And just doing what you do in the right way, positive way. Absolutely. So you spoke on developing artists mm -hmm. on your record label. Mm -hmm. How many artists are you developing right now? Oh man, we got a few artists right now that that's I can't even count, but we got a we got a team that's <laughs> that we build and that we working with. But um shout out to all the artists that we are dealing with. They actually everybody that I am working with, like I said, this whole year, like putting the ground together, we all been grinding. Like like I said, it's not even about just me. Like I would tell them the other day, seeing their growth and seeing how they're moving and all of us together just doing what we do, it just it's great. So, you know what I'm saying? Like be out of, be on the lookout for the artists that's affiliated with the Hud Life Management and all that. Cause we putting some teams together and we putting some strong together and we building. So nice. <laughs> perfect, perfect. You know? Is there anything that you would like to touch on? Anything that you would like to promote while we stay here? I just want like I just want to say, first and foremost, man, as artists from New York, I feel like we should show more love to each other. Like, you feel what I'm saying? It's okay to, like, acknowledge each other. Like, you feel me? It's okay to, like, yo, bro, like, your video is tough or your, your music is tough. Like, I feel like we got to start with that. Like, for me, so that's what I do. And I want to get back to the other artists, but I felt like paving that as an influence. I think we should do that. But as far as, like, the music, we got a lot of tunes on our way. I got another record that I just been promoting and, and performing. A certain spots called Nobody. I've been giving those snippets away. I got a lot of records, so just stay on the lookout. We working. We got a lot of stuff on the way. You know what I'm saying? Thank you so much. Appreciate Thank you, Spaz B. Mm -hmm. Appreciate for stopping by. Thank mm -hmm. you so Thank much you. for everyone, all the viewers watching, and stay tuned to Still Got the Juice TV. Mm -hmm. It's a wrap. Mm -hmm.